What's going on? It's Young Larry, aka the motherfucking L God, and we are back today with a familiar project, but sort of kind of newish. J. Cole's 2014 Forest Hills Live. That's not the actual title, that's how we're gonna say it today. This is the live version of his 2014 album. Forest Hills, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. J. Cole, if you're familiar, which you should be by now. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Sort of new generation, but he's sort of got that, you know, seasoned veteran feel uh, rapper. And when the album first came out, I didn't get a jewelry for it. This is mine. And it's the fact that it's a live album. And when I first heard it, it was a surprise. It came out, I believe, on his birthday. Um, it was a surprise to see that, one, he did a live album because hip hop and live albums don't really don't really do too well just because of how hip hop is sort of founded sonically it's not always organic instruments it's not always uh real drums and keyboards it's a lot of digitally created things a lot of samples a lot of things meshed together to create the booming sound we love unfortunately it just doesn't hold up too well in arenas and you know big things um but with j cole he took that album took those samples and moved in those live instruments improv, you know, sections, chords here and there, all kinds of things. And that really took what was a sort of deflated album at this point and boosted it crazy high. And the main reason being for that is the sentiment that you may have missed or might not have felt on, you know, cuts like uh, Fire and Squad or uh, San Tropez or even Hello, it just, it gets amped up and you feel it a lot more in here. So on the first, on the original album, Sancho Pay was something that I didn't tell people didn't like, but as time went on, it was just like one of those things I instantly skipped. Like I'm not, I'm really not trying to hear this. But the vibe on Sancho Pay mixed with the transitions in the album, which are smooth as hell by the way, uh, is kind of, it's different. It's a lot more relaxing. And the thing about the live album is it was recorded in Fayetteville, North Carolina, the last stop on J. Cole's very big uh, stadium arena tour. And it's sort of part of the uh, documentary that he did earlier on. It's that recording, but without the, the cuts and the stops for the visuals. And that being said, the transition is maintained and it's just really smooth. Um, but like I said before, his energy is what takes this over the top. Songs like Fire Squad go next level. Hearing the crowd rap every word to, um, you know, no role models is just crazy. And the fact that I can honestly say in 2016, at 23 years old, that I would be around to experience a live hip hop album. Not just a live hip hop album, a live album period from a prominent artist it's pretty, it's pretty stellar because when I heard this came into existence, the first thing that came to my mind for some reason was Marvin Gaye's, uh, I think the last Marvin Gaye uh, live album. I couldn't give you a name because I'm not Larry Little Senior. He's got all those details. But that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm just like, will this, will this encompass that energy, the, the live energies that come? And it really did. And if you have sort of fallen off of the 2014 Four Souls Drive project, you don't bump it no more. You got maybe one or two tracks. I would say give the live album a solid listen. Buy that shit. It's just, it's great. Um, he even has a the little interlude, which is just some of his older songs, Lights Please, Nobody's Perfect, In the Morning. The uh, the Drake and Jay-Z performances did make it in, and I'm honestly very happy about that. Uh, J. Cole, 2014 Forest Hills Live. Buy it, pick it up, give it a listen. It's an incredible experience. And it's one that's surely to be rare. The only other artist that I can even think about right now to do a live album is Kendrick Lamar. And I'm sure he's had that idea thrown around him a couple times, but who knows when we'll see that if we ever see it. Um, J. Cole is in a wonderful place. I continue to wish him much success. And going forward, if he does this again, man, oh man, that whole top three status gets solidified. Um, follow us though, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of the social medias. If you don't like what I'm saying, have a problem, complaint, consternation, as my old math that you like to say, talk to me, holler at me. We can get the we can get the conversation conversing. Even though conversation's a word now, the dictionary. Conversing, whatever. Um, this has been Young Larry, aka the motherfucking L God, 
and the Unnamed Music Show. Until next time, hold that fucking L.